I would imagine you're uh, happy with the performance, but disappointed with the result. Is that, that, that pretty much it? Oh, I don't need to speak any more than Vince, do I? No. <laughs> I think that's a fair assessment. I, I knew the game would be tight. It would be very close. In close games, you're, you're hoping that you get a little bit of luck. You know, a, a few decisions here and there, and you know, it just wasn't to be. Performance-wise, I can't fault them. I thought they applied themselves excellently. They... The, the way they approached the game was excellent and obviously we can see the goal on a on a free kick through a deflection which actually wasn't a free kick but uh, you have to take it sometimes we'll learn from it and we'll move on uh, my audio just cut out there for a second um, on the free kick were you saying that wasn't there is that what yeah, you said I don't think it was a free kick no fair enough um <laughs> Were you happy with just the, the general play of you guys uh, for a team that's probably just had three key players to come in very soon yeah. for the start of the season? Um, it seemed to gel quite nicely there. Yeah, there were some, there were some good phases. You know, um, is it the end product? Is it the final product? No, you know, we, we know we're way off that. Um, but there were glimpses of of how we want to play uh, and the way we're going to play, um, which is positive. Obviously, we were a little bit tired on the legs as well, which is why I made the, the subs that I needed to make. Um, we brought energy as well. Sometimes you ask substitutes to come on and they're disappointed they don't play, but they make an impact and our subs didn't that. But the fight till the end was, was encouraging. I think that was important. I just said to him in there after the game, I said, you know, sometimes you don't get what you deserve in football. You know, I think it was a fairly tight game and it, and it was, um, the difference was one, one ricochet of a free kick. Um, chances wise you know we got to be more clinical with our chances we had good chances um, so did they you know um, but obviously uh, their keeper come up strong uh, Carl how did you assess the performance of three of the new signings Ziggy Gordon seems to have a really good game but James Treasy and Bernie have been in particular yeah, I thought they were all positive. I thought uh, Ziggy defended very well. He does what it says on the tin. He blocks, he defends, he puts his body on the line. I think James and Bernie, um, it was good to have them. They're good players. You, you can see they're going to be good players for us. Um, but also you can see that they probably missed a lot of football in, in pre-season. You know, they got a little bit leggy at the end, which is why I don't want to take a risk with Bernie. That's why he played an hour. I thought Nikolai Muller, when he came on, was exceptional. Um, and Jimmy just does what Jimmy likes to do is runs and dictates the game and passes and moves but th we, we created things from that um, there were areas I know we need to improve uh, which I knew that before before the game and they highlighted today uh, against a, a very strong team we know that as well uh, What do you make Carl of the new boys not only in the league but in your region you know, putting in an impressive showing from their point of view in terms of you know, the local as well what do you make of that as Ponderous coach? Uh, of MacArthur? Yeah, and it's oh. that rivalry that will develop from this. Yeah, it's great. Listen, you want rivalries, you want storylines, you want you know a little bit of drama, you want some controversy, and you know they're a, they're a new team. It's never easy being a new franchise. I experience that in Major League Soccer more than anyone. Every year there seems to be two or three coming in, um, so it's great. Obviously they'll be delighted tonight because they got their the first victory at our place. We're disappointed because it was on our home turf, um, and sometimes you have to accept that. You know inside. You know, I'm uh, quietly fuming, uh, but sometimes you've got to hold yourself, your head up high and, and hold yourself with dignity as well when you lose. It's, it's easy to be a good winner, but when you lose, you have to conduct yourself right as well. And that's what I'll do. Oh, would you say the Wanderers played with a little bit more um, energy and enthusiasm today? And more than previous? Uh, more, what do you mean? Just a Sorry. bit more than you guys today. The, um, MacArthur played more than us, you say? Is that what you Yes. Did? Okay. Yes. Um, no, I don't think so. I, I think they had their game plan. They had their way way of playing, and they've done that very well with the front three. And we had our way of playing. And you know, they blocked up areas uh, which we wanted to try and exploit early on, which was credit to them. You know, it, it, sometimes game is about uh, it's a chess match. It's about tactics and things like that. Other other times, it's just about good old fashioned hard work. Roll your sleeves up and, and individual battles. And I think that's what sort of it was today. I don't think there was too much between the teams other than a, a deflect free kick. <laughs> Carl, oh, you're um, back out there in a few more days. Yeah. Um, this is a difficult sort of schedule for you guys. I think you had something like nine games in January. That's changed. There's only four now. Um, how hard is it going to be backing up when there's so many underdone bodies in your in your squad at the moment and a short turnaround between those games? 
Yeah, well, like you said, players want to play. If there's players that are not in the team, they want more games. Obviously, the schedule's been impacted because of COVID, and we know that. And, you know, the most important thing was everyone's health and, and safety. I say that every time I speak to anyone. Um, you know, we'll deal with it. We'll rest. The boys will be off tomorrow, and then we'll get back to work. We know we've got a big game next week. But every game in this league is close. Every game in this league is going to be tight, and every game will be enjoyable. You know, the first three games have, have only been two goals in the three games, but I think there's been some very, very good football played from a number of teams. So you just prepare right, you move on. Um, we're the same team as we were this morning. We're the same team as we are tomorrow. We just need to get a little bit more focused and work harder and have a little bit of luck, which we will.